Otaku Octagon, what's going on everybody? What's Welcome up? back to another beautiful episode. So, today, something I've been really looking forward to, we do it every single season, but I, I, I don't, I think this is, out of all the episodes we do, or out of all the shows we do, I think the end tier list is probably one of my favorites. Mm. I think, you know, kind of wrapping up the season, seeing how things went from like here to here, or things yeah. went from here to here, like... You know, just kind of like being able to talk about it. I think this is probably one of my favorite, favorite, favorite episodes. I would say I would agree with you, but honestly, it really depends on the season. If the season was fired, yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to the wrap up. If the season was like, eh, yeah. I'm looking forward to more talking about what's to come. <laughs> so it really we're, depends on the season. We're getting more subscribers, so I want to bring this to the subscribers' feet. Um, we stopped doing this, but this was, this used to be my favorite episode, was the showdown, the Otaku Octagon showdown, where we take the main characters from each one of the shows and put them in a tier list, like a bracket system fighting each other. I love that, especially talking about powers and like, I was pretty good. So if y'all want to see that come back, I need some people to say yes, because David won't bring it back unless, <laughs> unless, I loved it. I love that. That was The that showdown was between the characters, I mean, like, it was cool, but... Honestly, if, if 10 people say they want to see it, fine, we'll bring it back. But yeah, <laughs> but that was one, I mean, it wasn't getting a lot of traction. That's why mm. we decided to we, we decided to not do it anymore. But today we are going to be doing our tier list for the winter uh, 2024 season that Gotta just that. ended. Um, obviously, spring 2024 has just started. Um, but we got to wrap up these shows, show you where we put them finally. Now, these shows, some of y'all may know that have just came out in that last season, but some of these have just ended in this season. So we have a few on here that are actually ones that continued from the season before, but they just ended this season and we can't give a full review on something unless it's ended. So there's also shows that started last season in winter and haven't ended yet. Mm -hmm. um, things like Ninja Kamui, things like that. We're not going to add that because... It hasn't ended yet. We can't give a full synopsis. We still got to full... talk about it at some point. Yeah, yeah, we're going to talk about it 100%. Mm -hmm. But today we're going to be doing that tier list. All right. So first one we got on the list mm -hmm. is Shangri-La Frontier. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I'm sure you agree with me. Okay, um, okay. Do you not? Do you not? No, okay. So Shangri-La Frontier. Uh -huh. um, for, the, for those of y'all who don't know, um, Shangri-La Frontier is a gaming world. Think of Sword Art Online, but he's not trapped there. Mm. Um, he's essentially a, a young man who plays video games almost for a living. Oh, he's in school, so he plays video games a lot. And he goes into a video game virtual reality world and fighting monsters in Shangri-La Frontier, this big world, open world um, scape. That's the storyline. That's like any of us playing a video game or an MMORPG. We're progressing through the video game. That's our story. And that's what the story is of this. There's no demon lord or nobody trying to kill them in the outside world. Nothing. It's him trying to progress in this, I don't in know. this story. I still feel like there's something still developing in the background. Like, one, we were, we heard about those um, guys in the office they were talking about, Sunraku. Yeah. So mm -hmm. something still might be developing. I'm, I'm will be even happier well, the, the with creators. the creators. It's not going to, yeah. like, ruin anything. Like, they're watching his progression for a reason. So I'm still mm -hmm. excited to see what, what that is still developing in the background. But Yeah, the, the I, creators. I think, if anything, because we, should, we, we got shown the creators, like, the last episode. Mm -hmm. We got shown the creators of the video game, the company that created it, saying he shouldn't have, they shouldn't have been able to take down this unique monster. Mm -hmm. um, now, what's crazy is that whole story progression thing, how it went from, like, 11 to 12 percent we're just like everybody's like what the fuck what is the story progression like nobody knew people have been playing this for years mm -hmm. already and nobody knew what that was the until... whole story thing is throwing me off because they're also talking about there's a underlying story behind just the mm -hmm. video game so there's still so much we don't know there could be something that ties to maybe ties to the real world maybe like a ready player one like if you beat if you create if you get to this storyline and you're a certain whatever you may get like real money in real life or you mm -hmm. may get like rich or you may inherit something like the whole golden egg thing from ready player one mm -hmm. like who knows but the but the but from what we got from the beginning to the end it's just it's just video game progression mm -hmm. and i love that and i think it's kind of i think it's definitely hilarious has its funny undertones the fighting and the animation is beautiful for me this was an s tier anime and i'm glad like i'm glad i kind of not i had to watch my real people shows and then i came back to this so i could binge like the last five episodes of it because it was it was masterfully done. I mean, when I'm doing this tier list, I'm going to be sure to try to like stick to what type of show it is. The genre, and then right. Exactly. Basically give a tier based off the genre. 
This yep. show, no matter what the genre is, it is a S class show. Even yeah. at the bare minimum S class show, but for its genre, video games, I think it's at the top. Rightfully so yeah. last season, rightfully so this yeah. season. Yeah. Um now the next one we got is Tales of Wedding Rings. Um so Tales of Wedding Rings is essentially about a man who falls in love with a woman from another world mm. and he ends up following her back to her world after they become teenagers or like 18 years old or whatever. Why they're about to graduate high school or something like that. And because he's in love with her and she leaves and he traces her through the portal, um, she ends up about to marry somebody else. She ends up marrying him. I'm not going to spoil y'all with the minor details, but she's, she ends up marrying him and now he becomes the ring king and his job is to go to different princesses. I think there's five for five fingers, mm. um, five different princesses to get five different rings to marry all five of those women to get the full powers of the ring king to defend the nation against the demon armies or the monster armies, so on and so forth. Um, there was one specific thing I, I liked about this show is because there is fighting so there is fighting in pretty much every season or every show or episode even if it's not fighting a really big bad guy like when he went up against the uh not the wind um the beast the beast girl mm. like he's always like he's trying to fight her she was bodying his shit um there's definitely an underlining story with this whole magical this like dark ring so mm -hmm. the demon rings or whatever there's definitely a story there that we haven't really like we know who it is but we haven't really gotten that far into it yet um, for the demon, uh, it is a kind of romancy. I mean, that's kind of the idea. It's kind of a romancy anime, which I'm usually not into. But this one, because it has action to it, and I kind of like the storyline. Um, I I, I like the show. It wasn't bad. It wasn't like amazing, but it wasn't it wasn't bad. I mean, um, I do think one. I know me being the hopeless romantic because Maui loves love. You know what I'm saying? And you know me. One of the things I hate from shows that have people that love each other. Um, and they never say it, but in this they do. Now, does old boy? We talked about it before, right? Like old boy fumbles and doesn't want to do the do. Yeah, but he, but they tell each other. Like it, even in the beast thing, he's like, "I'm doing this for my wife. I'm doing this." Like he says it out loud to her. He's like, "I love you," you know. Mm -hmm. And she's like, "Oh my god, he loves me." So that's one of the things I liked about it is they actually are showing that they love each other. They're not just like, "Oh my god, hey, I'm walking next to her." Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you know. So honestly. For me, and then you could give it, I'm not going to move it, but for me, this is a B. It's average. For me, okay. it's a B. It's it's average. Um, it's, 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 you were hyping it up. I thought you were about to give it an A, even an no, S. No, no. I said it I said it was good. I, I'm I definitely you not giving it an You S. weren't going to give it an S. I was worried you were going to give it an A, though. Um, honestly, yeah. I, I agree with you. This is a B show. This show started off pretty decent it wasn't like super strong like the whole yeah. fact that they were expressing their love for each other they actually did get married they were kissing and then it went straight back into the whole trope of oh all these girls are saying let's fuck and he's like uh, but i only love her and then she's like let's fuck and he's like, and he's uh, like maybe yeah, next time i'm yeah. like Bro, what is going on? All right, well that was a decent show. Um, I'm not mad at the show. It wasn't trash. It just wasn't. It wasn't fire. It wasn't that it wasn't exciting. exciting. It wasn't it exciting. Just, yeah. It it was a good story. He did meet all the princesses. He eventually. The, the plot was there. The story was there. The development was there. Their development between the girl and him. They developed their relationship with the other ones. Yeah. Maybe that's for season two, but that didn't yeah. develop as I expected it to by the end of the season. So maybe I give hopes for season two. If I give yeah. it a B, then I said, hey, I'm going to watch season two. Yeah. If there's anything below that, mm. so I'm willing it's to see me. where it's going to go. So you all of our men of culture, like if you're looking for the show because it has an uncensored version, you gotta, you it definitely does not dissatisfy there. There's a story and they do, mm -hmm. they be out there. So it'd be, it'd be out there. It's, it's a B. It's a B. <laughs> we kind of kind of went down a whole little path it's, there, but it's, it's a, a B. B. It's, it's a B. B. It's a B. <laughs> Okay, so the next one we got is Metallic Rouge. Mm -hmm. Now, Metallic Rouge is about, I don't know. So <laughs> the, pro the problem is, the problem is, uh -huh. it's a good, it's about a young, like a, a duo who are detectives, but they have special abilities. Like think of like Power Rangers mixed with mechs. So they have like a mech suit that like starts like a little halo and it goes over their body and they mm -hmm. like turn into these mechs and they fight. Right. And they fight like other people with these suits and stuff like that. And it's, I mean, fate level style fighting is pretty good. That but like a detective this, show, though. But it is a detective show because they're actively trying to search for something. 
to be fair for me, this show dropped off. So if it if they brought in the plot at some point at the <laughs> end of it, the then then you know is the plot in the room with us? <laughs> this like, is, this I, is gonna plot here. But however, however, for some reason, I want to put it at a B because I feel like I need to go back to this show to actually give it another chance. Mm. Like start from episode one, don't watch anything else, and mm. watch this show through its entirety. I think it actually could be good. It's just that. One, I don't like detective shows. Mm-hmm. Two, there was so much other good shit that was out that I was watching other things because it was better than this. Yeah. But because I was kind of, I was also like, my mind was consumed with other plots of other shows, mm-hmm. which I usually don't have a problem with. But when it's like this detective mystery, but we're mechs and we still fight kind of thing, I'm like, <laughs> I need a little something more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, so, I got you. But I want to put it at a B. I know you haven't watched it, but like I'm, I'm gonna put it at a B because I do want to go back to this. Mm. To it's something that I'll go back to to actually binge it to give a final answer on to be like, and I'll probably bring it up in an episode mm. in in the, in the next few weeks or something. Be like, hey, by the way, Metallic Rouge ass D or S. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> D, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. No, so I got you. I, I'm gonna put it. At a B again for those of y'all watching. I'm sorry if this was like your favorite anime of the season because <laughs> like I couldn't I couldn't get into it like as I was watching other things. Mm. But I'm gonna give it another shot. I'm gonna start from episode one since all the episodes are out. I'm gonna start from episode one. I'm gonna binge it and then I'll give my final opinion later. But I'm gonna put it at B because I think there's potential there. Okay. I definitely think there's potential there. So and uh, um, one of those animes that dwarfed all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna put this in front. No, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Up front. Ooh, okay, okay, um, okay. All right, solo leveling. Oh. Solo. I mean, we ain't even gotta say this is a S. This is a whole S tier anime. I mean, oh. this is for I mean, if you haven't I'm gonna I'm gonna do a real quick wave top. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. Which I know people haven't seen it. I know somebody who's been binging it since Boy, for what? two days now and they finally finished it. Okay. So yeah, so Solo leveling is about a young man who's known as the weakest hunter in the entire hunter society. Mm -hmm. Essentially, it is about uh, gates that have opened up in our world. So think about our modern day world. Gates that go into dungeons um, open up in our world. And once those gates started appearing, people started getting magical powers or getting hunter powers, as they call them. They get a power skill. So you're either an E rank hunter or you're an S rank hunter, just like any other dungeon style anime, right? And you pretty much can't go anywhere from there. You either get awakened and you can move up, or you don't get awakened. You stay E to D, C, B, F, whatever, A, S. Um, he is known as the weakest hunter in the world. He ends up going on a cer- certain dungeon mission, just like any dungeon anime. If you know when a secret fucking tunnel opens up, it worked out for him, mm-hmm. but... Like, when a secret tunnel opens up, you don't fucking go down that secret tunnel. Mm. You just don't. And they had but the choice. They, did. they decided to go down they, the secret they, tunnel. They, de- they decided to go down the tunnel. And again, it worked out for him, but it didn't work out for a lot of fucking people. Um, and they went down there. A lot of them ended up dying. And he ended up surviving a certain way, which, again, I'm not going to spoil you with minor details. And then he ended up getting, he became a player in the system. Uh, the system is this new power scale where he is now solo leveling himself. He's still an E rank hunter. So if they measure his magic, he's still an E rank hunter, but he's absolutely one of the most broken people. However, um, to roll into what I liked about this from that to segue Sally into it, the fact that we think he's broken, but then he just like the system keeps putting him up against harder challenges. I love that. He's not just wiping the floor with people. Um, but this show, I mean, the fighting is great. The animation is great. The storytelling is great. There's no boring moments in this whole fucking show. And it has funny moments in it, too. It has hilarious moments. Like, yeah. first first one is when he gets his first task, his first daily quest, and he's like, ah, I'm not doing all this shit. Goes back to bed, wakes up in the desert, gets chased by monsters. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a badass anime. Like, completely fucking badass. So it's a it's an S tier. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely going to be an S tier. Um... I'm not going to rehash this story. I originally found the story, I've said it before, when I read the manga. This was years mm-hmm. ago. The manga was amazing. That manga really got me into a lot of other, the, other manga um, because I wanted to that same type of um, storyline. And they call it like the power 
leveling story. So basically, yeah. you're, you're seeing these people get stronger and stronger, and they have to f- fight f- stronger and stronger opponents. But essentially, the whole point of it all, you know they're going to get stronger. You know they're going to become OP, and nothing's going to stop them at the end of the story. And that's to- mm-hmm. totally okay. Nobody nobody dislikes a power fantasy unless you just dislike anime and dislike cool things. This show is cool because the story that was originally created in the manga and the, um, not, the not web novel was amazing and all they had to do was provide good animation with this the animation decided to do just that and go beyond i've said it before Mm -hmm. the animation studio decided to kind of change up the story in different ways but not in a way to to ruin the story but in a way to make the story better they provided more world building in the beginning of the story that they would have provided eventually at one point at least by where we are now we started to get a lot of this world building but at the beginning it wasn't there the animation studio made this story better than what it already was added the great animation added the great choreography even added the great music like even though like the music wasn't the best mashley even though the music wasn't the best (laughs) that music still hit when the music needed to still hit so dramatic At the end of the day, this is arguably one of, if not the best anime of the studio. And the fact that it's even a question of whether or not it's an S, I'm not going to disrespect it. Soul Leveling was up this season. Yeah, it was was up. 100% up. One of the best animes that have come out in a while, Mm. to be honest. Uh, So next one. Unwanted Undead Adventure. (laughs) I am struggling. So for uh, just to prelim, I'm struggling between a low S and a high A for this one. Mm. Um, So Unwanted Undead Adventure is about uh, another young man who's a dungeon, who works in a dungeon, or not works in a dungeon, but he's he's an adventurer, uh, part of the guild. He ends up going down, again, another fucking open cave that just opens up in his own fucking dungeon, and he decides to go down there, but I guess it worked out for him. Nobody else was around. Mm. Um, He ends up dying, which I guess you say, that worked out for him? Kind (laughs) of. And he ends up resurrecting as a skeleton and now the whole story is for him to once he realizes that as a skeleton it's kind of like reincarnated as a slime he can level up as a monster and continue to gain different forms to eventually maybe get back to his human form but while he's doing that he's also just become an op i think like after his second transformation he was already 10 times stronger than he was when he was a kid when he was a human Mm -hmm. um and he also the he has this love interest which i know it's a love interest like she obviously loves him and i know he has some feelings for her she ends up taking him in to help train or help not really train but like give him shelter but also like study him and like help him out and give him things and like shop for him stuff like that um i think the show is fantastically done i think the storyline is great i think that it's great because we didn't get one of those like I'm a skeleton for a whole season kind of bullshit. They mm-hmm. like really just continued with the story, like, oh, he transformed into this, transformed into this, transformed. Like they gave it to us. They didn't just be like, oh, maybe he transforms. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, he's not transforming yet. Oh, maybe he transformed. You know, they're not they weren't teasing the transformations to us, which tells me there might be more down the road. And we actually get to a almost a final form of him in, in this last season. Um, there's to me there's no boring moments the fighting is absolutely great it has a little slice of, it's a little slice of lifey but mm-hmm. nothing crazy like it's mm-hmm. i mean it's just his life like i'm gonna get up i can't really go into town unless i'm going to grab something real quick so he goes to grab that shit we see that and then he comes back to the dungeon mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like there's no oh let's hang out and have a dinner date you know what i'm saying <laughs> like let's let's hang out and go shopping for the day kind of kind of dungeon style so um I, I i think this show is absolutely one of not one of the best, but like a very top five dungeon style adventure animes, in my opinion. So again, I'm struggling. Maybe not an S. I'm kind of steering away from S, but like definitely a high A for me. Mm-hmm. High A. Um, in my opinion, um, I think I will put it as an A. This is a pretty well done dungeon anime. Um, Absolutely. I will disagree. So first, let me start with things I do like about it. I love the fact that it's essentially an Esekai where the guy reincarnated as a slime, but in his own world right. as um, the skeleton. I also like the fact that he just doesn't have to fight, and that's how he evolves. He evolves in different ways. Like, when he yep. ate the blood of his um, friend, that's how he evolved on once before. Oh, the second time. Then the third time, yeah. he drank the blood of the vampire. Like, I like that it's inventive in how 
it it he yeah. progresses in the story and it makes you wonder how is he going to progress the next way obviously he yeah. reached a point where he's entered into a new branch or even a new tree of evolution yeah. so it's like okay how is he going to continue to move on he doesn't just have to fight to get stronger um it is slow. So again, I'm just comparing this to other dungeon mm-hmm. anime. So when I'm watching nope, like absolutely. say Don Machi, Don Machi was crazy. Um Don Machi is Yeah, that yeah. dungeon anime, it's it's not comparable to Don Machi. No, um, absolutely not. No. Is it a bad a- anime? No, definitely not a bad anime. And I'm not going off of what my wife says. She only thing she disliked about it is the slowness and during those slow points, the music was just extremely loud. Like, she hated, like, the music score. Like, during the slow part, when they're just, like, talking, sitting at the table, the music just became really loud. And I just started picking up on it myself. This was, like, around episode 7, 8. And I'm like, why is the music so loud? Like, I I get it. This is a slow point, and you don't want too many quiet points in the story. But turn Mm. down the music just a little bit. So I I really did enjoy this. Um, another reason um why I'm putting it as an A and why I, it's because I agree with someone. I thought about buying this when I first heard the story, and I was like, "Damn, this is really good. I'm gonna buy the light novel." I was reading like reviews of other people who had the light novel, read the light novel, and they were saying like it's good, but it just it's so slow. So yeah. I was watching the anime, and I'm like, "But that's how these type of animes go." But then it, it was yeah. like one whole like two or three episodes about him picking flowers and bringing the flower back, and I'm like. I can't imagine reading this. Like, I can't read about this dude going get flowers, talking to this new guy, getting the flowers back, bringing it to uh, Mother Teresa. Well, bring it to Mother Teresa's friends so they can save her life, and then eventually be in the um, going to the the house. I'm not gonna tell the whole story, but like, I don't want to read though. all that. Like, I understand that's great story story yeah. um development and world building, but it's like, this is kind of like, okay, all right. Well, let's, let's speed this the- part up. The only reason why I don't have problem with that is because he was still a, he was still a not bronze. What's below bronze? He was still a. What wood class was it? Wood class, wood then bronze and then silver, mm, gold. I don't, I don't even remember. Mithril. I think it's like wood or something, something like that. But he was mm-hmm. still like it was like iron. I don't know. He was still a lower. He was still like a first tier class adventurer. And those are the types of missions that and it well one that's the type of mission that led. Um, well, of course, that, of course. That gives him that gives him more credibility, more points with mm-hmm. the guild. But two, that mission also built up to him meeting the, story development. Mm-hmm. the the chick, and so he could get. Which I'm, I'm, I'm fucking. She's a vampire. It was so slow though when they presented it. Like it was cool um, when yeah. he defeated the one monster, but it was just those moments. The music got loud, and the talking got real low, and they talked slowly toward each yeah. other. Those points where I'm just like, can we just get the story moving? I, I, can, I understand I can, it's necessary, but that. yeah, keep it po- moving. I'm like, I understand what struggling with the low S to a high A. I'm putting it as a high A because at the end of the yeah. season, um, at the finale, totally. even though I was yeah. super happy about what happened next, and I kind of read a little bit, um, <laughs> this that season it was kind of slow for me. I still want to see another season. Oh yeah, but pick it up, pick it up, season two. Let's pick it up. <laughs> Wrap it up. Give, we need we need like a demon lord or something mm-hmm. <laughs> to come into play. Okay. Next one is Ragnar Crimson. Now, excuse me. I know you have certain feelings about this because you actually, even though I was more hype about this show than you were, mm. you've actually finished it. I have a few more episodes left. For me, from what I've seen, and you can talk me out of it, from what I've seen, you could. It's an A to me. It was an S. Mm. But... I trust your judgment. Mm. That's why we're best friends and we have a podcast together from what you've told me, which I don't want. I don't usually let people sway my mind. It was an S it's all, all the way up to where I am now. A few episodes from the ending. Mm. It's an S to me. I lo- the fighting is fucking great. The, the fucking power scaling is great. I don't give a fuck about shit else, but from what you've told me and you can dive a little bit into this. Um, it's, it has dropped to a very, very high A for me because I still all the way up until that, even with the things you told me, I'm like, I still love this. The show, the show mm. still is great to me. The fighting is great. The power scaling is great. Um, I think the whole war, the whole war idea is fantastic. Um, the only caveat uh, besides what you told me, the only thing that. The only thing that kind of bothers me, which I know this can be a little contradictory to what I just said, is that. 
I know we were kind of leading up to the war and we were, we like got into the war about three or four episodes away from the finale. Mm. Um, but it kind of seemed like it was very chaotic. There was no organization. Mm. There was nothing that like we had a goal, we had a plan and it's like, we forgot what the goal and the plan was. We're just kind of fighting now. Mm -hmm. And for a show that kind of leads into a heavy plot with heavy fighting and then takes away the heavy plot and keeps the heavy fighting. I'm like, it's still dope, Mm -hmm. but like, it's like, it feels like it felt like it was all over the place. It all falls into the category of, they just felt like they were just doing shit. Like, mm-hmm. like going back to your point there, it's like they they were fighting and they were trying to get away. And then it was like, OK, um, the princess died, but we managed to get away. But then it, the princess wasn't dead anymore. But then the princess is dead. And then they're like, OK, the princess is alive because obviously, look, this still works. We're going to go save the princess. And then it's like, hold on. Are we is the final war right now? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. It's like they were just throwing shit at the wall again. It was cool. This cool. it ended the the way it ended, I was like, damn. How it ended, it kind of brought it back up on book because it, yeah. it was just dropping lower and lower, even getting close to a B. Never hit a B for me. But it was start started getting to a low A for me. The ending brought it back up to a high A for me. But yeah. it still feels like everyone was just getting a new transformation. They were p- pulling shit out of the ass. And even the ending felt like it, was, it just pulled it out of the ass. Like, oh, this is why. Cool. Yeah. Let's move on to the next season. Even the ending, it was like, okay, I thought the whole story was about doing this. And then the ending came was like, all right, that's not really what the whole story is about. The whole story is about doing this instead. So uh, it's an A because it looks super cool. Um, The animation is super cool. The choreography is super cool. The plot, like if you know, if you just look at what the mission is, or at least what you expect the mission is, they do it, and he never goes mm-hmm. off away from that. He never wavers, but at some yeah. points it was just like, "Is it? Is this not good enough for you? Is this not good enough yeah. for you? Do we just need to make this better to be, for it to be good enough for you?" And it was like, "Okay, yeah. cool. I'm okay with it. Whatever. Hi, a. Hi, good. Hi, I, I like that. Now the next one we got is Chained Soldier. Mm. Um, Chained Soldier. How do I put this? Chain Soldier is good. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. It's good. It's a good anime. I think it's pretty funny. Essentially about a young man. So essentially in our world, um, little calamities happen to where people get drug into a demon world. Um, it's random. You could be walking down the street, sitting on your couch, whatever it is. If you see mist start surround you, you're getting pulled into the demon world. A mm-hmm. shitty way to live. That's that's like human combustion and fire force. Um, like it just happens. Mm-hmm. Um, and this young man ends up getting pulled in. And there's a group of soldiers or different regiments of females who actually fight these demon hordes that are in those realms. And he essentially was going to save this little girl. He doesn't fight. He doesn't know what he's doing. But he saw a little girl about to get hurt. And so he jumped in and saved her life. Uh, The leader of the regiment sees him do that. And she protects both of them. Uh, she has the ability to make somebody her slave. and But she they get a, a power up as being their slave. And she puts this chain around their neck and she rides them. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, <laughs> and essentially she sees him and she says, I've never tried my power on a human being before. We're surrounded. Let's give it a Wild. shot. Let's try it. And let's try it. And he says, send it, daddy. Mm. And she puts it on him. He turns into this kind of like dragon monster-esque creature. Mm. Starts fucking him up. Starts fucking him up. But there's a there's a caveat to her power. Um, her power has, ever. yeah, her power, her power has a uh, condition to it. Every time she uses it on a specific person, um, she has to do whatever whatever thoughts are in their mind, and it's usually sexual or pervy. Mm. So every time he uses the power, she has to do something to him sexually. Um, it doesn't. I mean, it started off light, right? It started off with like back rub and then i think she like rubbed her titties on him at one point get into what it got it got into it it got into it yeah and then it just gets (laughs) it gets worse it gets worse and worse and worse Mm, and worse or better and better depends on how you're looking at it yeah hey um there was i didn't finish it don't get me wrong i still got a few episodes to go there was no i he the whole sister thing Mm. the whole sister thing came out about his sister being one of those demon witches or whatever. Mm. Um, I couldn't follow the storyline. I just was like, yeah, 
But to me, it was just like, eh, you know, like, cool. Like, good show. Good animation. I think it was cool. It had a little 3D-ness to it when he would turn into his dragon form. Mm. It had the little 3D animation drawouts. Um, so, of course, that was a little, like, eh, to me. Um, obviously, a low, more low-budget anime than, like, Solo Leveling or mm-hmm. Shangri-La Frontier, one of them. But this is a high B to low A for me. Um, okay. It's like, would I watch another season if I didn't have shit else to watch? Absolutely. I mean, that's um, something to consider. But I, in the genre... In the genre... In the job, because it's an etchy, but it's also like a kind of isekai, kinda, kinda, hmm. and then and also like a power scaling and B, honestly. Hmm. B. This one is for me a low B <laughs> to yeah, a high yeah. C. Um, like again, yeah. the genre like saves low. it. It's a if it yeah. wasn't for her power, and then me trying to figure out, like, okay, but if. She uses the power. What would he turn into? And then what would he have to do for her? And then you look at the one girl. She's like in love with him. And she has this complex. And then the brother-sister complex. It's like, as an etchy, it's cool. As an action, it just was like, like Man. this whole storyline. There's no storyline, dude. They're just, just out there yeah. doing stuff. It, they just fighting. There's nothing... I'm just trying Nothing to figure happens. out what's the what's the next thing he gonna have to do for it. That's all I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, like, I don't even know if I'm gonna if I'm willing to watch another season. What's in the tank? What's in the tank? <laughs> what's left? Just, what's left to do after this? I don't know. Like all the it's like a day in the life of a slave soldier who gets sexually assaulted <laughs> by his boss. <laughs> uh, brother, what is that, brother? What is that, <laughs> brother? brother uh. Oh my lord! What's that, it, brother? At one point, I thought the sister was like in love with him. I was like, "What is happening? Oh my yeah, god! Please yeah. don't, don't, don't do that, Trump. Low, Please don't." We're low B. We're B minus. It's definitely <laughs> B minus. B-. It's B-. I'm willing to watch season two, but uh, I don't know. All right, next one: strongest tanks labyrinth raid. Um, I, I wrote this down. It's a paragraph. It's a paragraph. Uh, it's a, okay. It's a paragraph. It's a paragraph. Hold it's on. A lot. So the next one is strongest tanks labyrinth raids. A tank with a rare nine 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 resistance. <laughs> the title skill is got a paragraph from the heroes party. Um, <laughs> this is a fucking C. This oh, is not. Man. This is so a boring. C? I kind of want to put it at a D, but because it's a because it's a tank, mm-hmm. it's like an adventurer tank. Mm-hmm. guild adventure guild thing i can't i can't justify we put an adventure guild at a d Where'd you, how far did um, you get uh f- four three three episodes away from finishing three episodes three, from four, four, maybe four. that's probably as why as i for you i think i got two episodes in and gave up yeah i i tried i really tried because i told you i showed you the picture i've been trying to like i've been binging all of them mm-hmm. catching up uh everything like that and i'm just like it's this rough. is so Boring. I don't even know, know what it's so about. Boring. I thought it was about one thing and Nothing. then it just changed. It's a slice of life. It's a slice of life. He just is chilling. He's just chilling. I remember you He's were telling me like what his power was. I'm like, oh, this kind of sounds cool. And then I looked at it, I was like, yeah, I'm they not seeing it, it though. They <laughs> waste it. The power is cool. It's yeah? just they waste it. He's just oh. not doing anything. Like he doesn't do anything. That's why with he got the power. kicked for the party. <laughs> That's why bro, he got like, kicked. Bro, I- I'll give you a D. I'll do it. Because oh, this man. shit is ass. Like it's just so boring. There's nothing. Mm-hmm. There. Even him getting and kicked was boring. For, so for for those of y'all, just to just to really wave top it, this dude was kicked from the heroes party because they thought they were, he was dragging them down. However, he had a skill that essentially <clears throat> that essentially boosted their power levels almost like a hundred percent, which mm-hmm. is like doubling their powers and the damage they would take was actually given to him. So the heroes party thought that they were super strong when in actuality they weren't. Mm -hmm. It was because he was there, but they kicked him from the party, not knowing that it was his power protecting them and making them stronger. They tried to go into another dungeon. They got their asses beat. Mm -hmm. And he is now living with his sister and the girl that loves him. And he, uh, that's it. It looks like, Like, it sounds like they're trying to steal the premise from that other show, hoping it was going to work out. The one where he left um, Heroes Party and he lived in the uh, like the suburbs with his girlfriend or the girl he yeah. met on an adventure and ended up marrying. Yeah. It didn't work out. <laughs> no. um, D. This, D? this show cool. was ass. Cool. The show was ass. All right. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, wrong yeah. way to use healing magic okay. is a fucking S tier to me. This show... This show fucking moved at a at some of the best pacing in a show I have seen in a long time. They got to the point. Mm-hmm. I was afraid. So 
just let me start over. I, I get I get really excited when a show is really good. This show is about a young man, well, three people actually that get isekai into another world. They get summoned by the king to become heroes. However, the the cat the caveat is only two of them are supposed to get summoned. Mm-hmm. He just so happened to be there. Um, the king summoned the hero, a female and a male. They are really popular in the high school that our that our um, our protagonist went to. Uh, he was, I think it was really funny how he got there too. The whole, like, he didn't have an umbrella and he was just like sitting there waiting. And then she was like, oh, y'all can, you can walk with us. And he's like, what? The popular kids are trying to like, you know, they're trying to talk to me or whatever. And then they're like, they, and he starts finding out like, wow, they're super cool. Like they're not dickheads at all. Like they're not assholes. I was honestly, when I first started watching the show, I was like, they're going to be, they're going to turn out to be assholes because they're mm. the popular kids, but they, they didn't. Yeah, they I turned out to be really, too. really nice people. And the magic circle started, or they start hitting bells. Magic circle envelops them. They all three of them get drug in. Well, they're them two are the heroes, and then they go to test his magic because they're like, "Well, you're fucking here. Let's find out what kind of magic you have." Mm. End up finding out that he has one of the rarest magics in the entire world, and that's healing magic. Um, once he finds this out, my my bay of the show, Rose, my bay. You know, I like them like beast, them big muscular beast girls that beat the shit out of people. Beast. Um, and big muscular beast. That's all her. If she was in another anime, she'd be one of those beast warrior females, one hundred percent. She fights like it. Um, she ends up hearing this and kidnaps his ass and makes him a part of a rescue squad. The rescue mm-hmm. squad are a squad of people who either have healing magic or are really good at for medical. They're like pretty much like corpsmen essentially, or like medics, and they go onto the battlefield and they rescue people from the battlefield, heal them, and put them back out. Um, and she trains him to be super strong and the girl ends up falling. She's in love with his ass, like 100%. She's in love with him. Um, and they end up fighting. The one thing that, again, that I was afraid of, of this show was that they weren't going to get to the war. Mm -hmm. Like the first, the first like conflict they have with the beast army. I was like, they're building up to it. They're building up to it. Like the last season, the last episode, they're going to be like, they're here. And then it's going to be like roll credits. And I was going to be like, fuck, but, but no, they, they, they did it. They, they finished went the first it. skirmish. I mean, they finished the first battle, like the complete yeah. battle. They finished it. Now they yeah. moved on in the war. Um, I think the only the best thing to um tell you about this story that the people need to know is the wrong way to use healing magic. What is the wrong way to use healing magic? Basically, what he does, even though he has you, healing magic, you tell him. <laughs> I mean, you you got to tell him. It's the best part about the story. Yeah, huh? that you is the, so? that is the wrong way. You 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 don't know what it is until like the la- one of the last two episodes. What I the mean, wrong way is? <laughs> Hold on, I feel like we got different wrong ways. Go ahead. <laughs> tell me if I'm wrong. Then he uses his healing magic to essentially strengthen himself. How does he do it? When he trains, when he runs, when he fights, when he takes damage, he uses healing magic to enhance his body so that he doesn't get tired, so that he can keep on training, so he can keep on taking hits, so he can keep on um, fighting to raise his durability, his endurance, everything to make him eventually stronger over time. So, now, what is the wrong way in yours? You may, you may have missed it uh-huh, because I know you, you multitask a lot in your life. At the, when he was fighting the Black Knight, and he finally unveiled his punch, the healing magic punch. Mm-hmm. He literally said, oh, so that's definitely the wrong way to use healing magic. <laughs> he said that in the show. I, I the get show. that, but I don't think that's the, that's, the culmination that's of the everything. Thing. That was like the climax. Like when he punched it and he was like, oh, this is the wrong way to use healing magic. Like he said, so? the name of the sh- he said the name of the show. Like mm. that's like, that's like a. Uh, when you're watching like a movie called like Red no, no, Dawn, I get, I get that. I, could, I definitely like, understand. Wow, this is point. Red Dawn. Like, but the whole show is essentially him using healing she, magic the wrong way. But she does it too. She, we just don't. And see that's her why she she's OP because she uses healing magic the wrong way. But, but think about the other um, healers. They don't use it that way, and that's why they're just basic well, healers. The other healers are just weak. One, they just they and they don't like combat. They've even mm-hmm. said it in the show. They were like. We don't fight. Like, we don't know yeah. how to fight or not. We have healing magic, but we're not as strong as y'all two. Yeah. She uses healing magic the way she wants to. So, to me, the pinnacle, right, is her, is mm-hmm. Rose. Yeah. She trains all the healers. How she uses it wouldn't be wrong to me. What are we comparing wrong to? So, I'm comparing wrong to, I'm comparing wrong to what she is because she's the pinnacle of that world, of this anime. Of this anime, of that world, she's the pinnacle of healing magic. She's training healers to be exactly like her. So that's I mean, not the wrong way. She's not the only healer of that world. 
I would say the wrong way she is tried to if, train as them, a though. healer, it's just to heal people. That's the right way. The mm-hmm. wrong way is to use it to enhance yourself, to make yourself stronger so that you can then use it to like basically pick people up and heal them as me, you're running and such. If I found out I had healing magic, right? Mm-hmm. To me, that would be one of the most obvious things in the world to do, though. I, what I wouldn't think about is mm-hmm. punching somebody with a healing fist to heal them so they feel the pain but still don't get injured. Like, mm-hmm. that's not something. But if I was training, like, if I had healing magic and I was training, like, fuck, first would be my back because mm-hmm. my back hurts all the time. But, like, I would 100%, like, just like kind of Jin Wu, right? Like I would be doing my push-ups, I'd do my whole workout and then mm-hmm. heal myself immediately and get all that strength that I would occur over my body just healing over time. Mm-hmm. And then I'd go back and do another workout and I mean, I'd heal myself everyone immediately. everyone doing that? Who else outside of him maybe, and her doing maybe, that? Maybe not, but well, in the show or in just in show. healing magic? I mean, I mean any healing show. They, they couldn't though. That's the problem is mm-hmm. she's the pinnacle. Mm-hmm. She tried to train those other two to do that, mm-hmm. right? They couldn't because they just weren't strong enough. They didn't. Their healing magic mm-hmm. wasn't potent enough. Mm-hmm. And then she had the well, she didn't have that girl was just part of the knights because she was a knight before. But and then she finally found our boy, and he is strong enough to do it. Mm-hmm. But imagine if, but if those two were strong, they'd both do it. He'd do it. Mm-hmm. So she'd have three, and then whoever other healing magic people come out, she'd do it to them too. Okay. So it wouldn't be the wrong well, way. It's a strong but argument. It's, strong argument. It's this, this like secret, this secret healing punch, and I'm just like, you gonna you gonna punch somebody with love, nigga? That's, I mean, but is like, he going to use it again in the future? Like, probably. Th- think about it. I mean, like I'm, this show, this his, show is that's a, his go-to move. Now, I mean, is it effective against anybody other than the person he fought at that time? I think yes and no. So, I mean, she mm-hmm. said she uses it. So, remember when she explained the the thing to it? She said, "I know you don't like killing me." Which she just motherfuckers. She oh, just she don't care. We don't care. But she said. If you don't want to kill people, because I know killing is not in your nature, but just want to hurt them, use this. I get it. That's the wrong way to use healing magic. So and she don't like, even use that way. So no, yeah, because she's like, I'm just gonna kill motherfuckers. I can I don't see. Care. I can see that is the real wrong way of using healing magic. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> get on with it. <laughs> All, right. All right. Yeah. Definitely S tier. Definitely S tier anime. Mm. Um, I cannot wait for a second season of this to come out. It's going to be fucking fantastic. I need to make a list of shows that have ended even long, long ago that still don't have second seasons and just like wait and be like, what is that? Fucking long. Okay, yeah, I'm waiting for that second season because these are one of the ones that I don't see one coming out very soon, but maybe two mm. seasons later. Because um, I'm still trying to hold on to like uh, Black Summoner. Uh, harem and the labyrinth i'm trying to like hold those in my mind just to know when they come back i don't know if harem's going to come back that's what i'm that's what i'm afraid of but i'm trying to hold it in my mind i'm trying to hold it (laughs) this is not the reason why you're holding it in your mind but i digress (laughs) who told you (laughs) who sent you here who sent you here